today we're going to be talking about the differences between the vision of the Biden Harris campaign or the Biden Harris presidency versus the Trump dance potential presidency. Um, the thing about the Vice President Harris is she has not released her policy statement yet on AI, so I'm not really sure where she stands on it. So we're going to be using her policy as under the Biden administration. I suspect that it might change somewhat. But let's start, first of all, by defining what is AI. AI is the ability for a machine to perform a human act. Um, we'll start with the Trump presidency of 2016 to 2020, what he did. And uh, he produced Executive Order 13960, which um, established a agent, which, which, which established the AI, the, the, the organizations in American government to work together to come up with a uniform way to bring AI to uh, to the United States. He also put money, more money, into STEM. Uh, 200 million dollars in grants, um, 88 million dollars into the National Science Foundation, uh, and he uh, established a partnership with the UK for a framework for uh, AI, doubled the funding for AI, and uh, he reputes the whole of Senator Sanders who said that one of the goals of AI should be a 32 hour work week. And he's worked very closely with uh, Secretary Chow of, tra of Transportation about AI transportation, AI being used in transportation, things of that nature. The Biden-Harris administration uh, approach is a little different. Uh, Joe Biden uh, released Executive Order 14110, which demanded that all of the AI, all of the federal agencies begin to work together as a common task or common goal to make sure that AI was safe and secure. And um, he put specific language in, in that specific executive order to make sure that any infrastructures, would be safe for clients, operators, and owners. The National Chips Act, he passed $39 billion in loans and grants, and um, that's being administered by the Department of Commerce. And part of this is to encourage the United States to start to build foundries. Also, uh, Recently, $8.5 billion was sent to Intel to get them going. President Biden implemented the Blueprint for AI, which is a, a Bill of Rights and Fairness. Um, he hired 200 new data scientists. By the way, if you do like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. That would help, help us a lot here. President Biden also developed a test bed for AI. Now we're going to go to President, former President Trump, um, what he plans for AI. As I said before, I don't have anything from um, Vice President Harris specifically on what she wants to do with AI, so I, I can't talk about it. But uh, the first thing the President that the former president wants to do is remove or repeal all of the President Biden executive orders related to AI. He feels they're too restrictive. He wants to propose the Manhattan Project type of AI development scheme. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with the Manhattan Project, that's when the United States employed 20 thousand people throughout the country to develop the atomic bomb. Uh, he is very concerned with the safety of AI. He wants to make sure there's guardrails there. We find that 
in a survey that 33% um, of Americans feel that AI should be eased a little bit, it's a little bit too restrictive. 39%, 37% of Americans feel that uh, it should be restriction on AI and 30% are unsure on, on AI. In addition, I think, I think his relationship with Elon Musk would be interesting and we want to see that what comes out of that. Um, so, the safeguards are critical. Um, both can't, both President Biden and President Trump agree that there needs to be safeguards handled at the national level. The difference I can see between the two policies is that President Biden seems to be more concerned with safety and guardrails and fairness, which is important. And President, uh, former President Trump seems to be more concerned with us competing against the world in AI. I'd like to thank you very, very much for your time you spent with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, can you please give me a thumbs up and have a good day.